I, I've been involved with CCTO since the beginning, and I've been a judge every year and changing panels uh, each year. This year I'm judging on the energy efficiency panel. And to me, the CC, what CCTO is doing that's remarkable is they're solving a real need. And the need is to help young companies secure the capital, but more importantly, the recognition for how they're trying to change the world. I think it's different because what you're, it, it's a very, uh, it's a nonpartisan competition. It's not uh, driven by an interest group, for example, a certain industry or a certain corporate um, goal. There's no strategic goal behind it. When I talk to the, the competitors who come into the CCTO, they all say almost unanimously, this is one place where I learned a lot, whether I won or not, I came and I learned, I am networked with a lot of amazing people, and I got my company that much further along its path to being successful. I believe the founders of CCTO had a vision, which was to create a, a platform for startups to be successful, whether they won the competition or not. This is a great model. And what I'm really intrigued with is to go to other states. In fact, I just came back from Finland. And over there, they're talking about doing similar events and already learning about the California Clean Tech Open as a model for other states and other countries in the world. So I think what we're seeing here is a, the seeds, the, the foundation of what could become a, a global initiative in 10 years. And I think that's a fantastic tribute to the state of California and the people who got this off the ground and made this successful.